Welcome back to another flashback series. You're watching Hunter on the Hunt. My name is Kyle Hunter. In this episode, you get to see some really great deer to get past at our good buddies, Ryan Alexander of Urban Buckeye Outfitters. He's a great guy. He's put us on some good deer. We've just been real picky on what we're after. But in this episode, we finally get our hands on a good mature buck. So let's jump right into it. It's about midnight right now. Midnight, December 16th. I'm here in Ohio. I'm at UBO's, Urban Buckeye Outfitters. Uh, Ryan invited me down to so come down here and hunt. I'm after one buck. I drove down today. Got down here about 10 o'clock tonight. So it's late. Got everything unpacked. I'm here in the suite. And uh, the buck we want, daylighted. Right at last light tonight. That's the deer we want. Uh, so we're gonna go in. One o'clock, maybe 12.30. No later than one o'clock though. I'm gonna get in, get situated. Uh, and sit till dark and uh, hope that the deer comes out. It's been hitting the corn in that area a lot, so. Let's see what happens. Go. I'm gonna take the bow out tomorrow. Saturday we got the second shotgun season here in Ohio. So if we don't get them with the bow tomorrow, we might be taking the 450 out. So we should see what happens. So in the past few years we've hunted with Ryan. I think we're going on our third year now. We've had some really good passes there and some you know good opportunities at some nice deer, but. With being picky hunters and we're looking for, you know, a four or five year old deer, we, we passed just a lot, a lot of deer. But there was one deer in particular that my dad encountered and we were trying to target him. And it's actually the deer I'm hunting in this video. He's a big eight point. Ryan's been watching this deer for probably three or four years now. Great deer. My dad has him work right under him, right to his scrape. The deer's at probably eight yards. I don't know how my dad didn't get it done, but I'm sure glad he didn't. Because if you keep watching, you get to catch back up with that eight point. So that same year that we're hunting there with Ryan, Ryan had a really good encounter with the big buck he was chasing. And he actually ended up bringing that buck back in the, in the bed of the truck. A real big deer ended up being the biggest deer of his life, 210 inches. Hell yeah! Oh boy. Wow. Biggest deer of my life, right there. Old one eye, there he is. Well, congrats to Ryan on his biggest deer ever. He deserved it, and he's got plenty of other big ones running around. Look at that side. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good. So this year with Ryan, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth from Ohio to Michigan. I'm hunting both states. I gotta get back home and I obviously have dogs. I got family here too. So I gotta be home for a couple days and I'm bouncing back and forth. So ultimately, I hunted through bow season into shotgun for one part. Foggy, it's wet, it's rainy, but we're gonna make the best of it. Got a tree umbrella. We're gonna go get in the stand. But uh, yeah, right now I'm just waiting for UBO to get here. He's gonna take me out to the Spot, get me set up. I'm all ready to rock. So, hopefully we can get it done on that big 10. Uh, last night, you can probably see in the video, uh, got real dark, real um, real low light pretty quick, and I had a nice buck come in. It's a buck we want to pass. Nice three-year-old. Drop a trail cam pick right here. But, uh, let that deer get the walk at last light, and... Hopefully he'll be a big old bruiser next year, at least four. So it's three year old deer this year, so. We're gonna see what happens, but uh, it's foggy, it's wet, it's rainy. Second shotgun season here in Ohio. I got the 450 push master. Look like we got Ryan coming now. Tires. He ain't getting stuck. 
you gonna hunt today or? <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting on you doing interviews for 15 minutes. <laughs> you got an orange vest or no? I got an orange hat. I got a vest. You got a vest? What kind of rules does the state have? What is that? Looks like your girlfriend's G-string. <laughs> what is that thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're legal. Legal in Ohio. Yeah. What is this? Man, you got a rain jacket on? Be prepared. Yeah, got a rain jacket on. Yeah, you just go like this. Legal. Legal, baby. I borrowed a gun from Ryan there, 450 Bushmaster. He let me take that out in hopes of shooting a big 10 point with a drop time. We were targeting this deer at a time, but we just we couldn't catch up with the deer. Ultimately, the only deer I was seeing was a big, nice 12 point, a typical 12 point, but this deer was on the no shoot list. So, the first time I seen this deer, this, this nice 12 point, the deer that's on the no shoot list, he comes in, it's very low light. And I can see him with my eyes and I can see him through the camera. It's just real grainy. And he just slips through there. He's following some does. Really good encounter. And it really got, you know, really got me going. You know, the nerves were going. I, was, I did want to shoot this deer. He was, he was real good looking. We pass him. He moves on. Well, the very next morning, I'm in a different tree stand. And who do I see? I see that 12 point again. He's a beautiful buck. He comes and works the scrape. You know, he does his thing and he comes filtering all the way down. This deer ends up walking by me right at 30 yards. And I watch this deer go right into the neighbors. And the neighbors hunt. So I'm texting Ryan, I'm letting him out. 12 point just walked by me again. He's over on the neighbors, maybe I should have taken the shot. He's like, ah, oh, he'll be back. When you roll into Urban Buck Outfitters, there's a lot to expect, and you can expect it all. There's critters just wandering everywhere. I've never seen so many animals when I'm staying right there at the cabin. There's turkey, there's deer. It's just all around unbelievable experience. You get to you get a, to see some quality deer. You know Ryan has them, and they're right there. They stay right by where he's he's lodging you at. He's got a couple other different lodging facilities also, and they're all beautiful spots. I've stayed at every single one of them. The food is off the charts. Just amazing cooking. You're gonna get fed real good. Don't forget to check out Ryan. I'm gonna drop some of his links down there if you want a good quality Ohio hunt and seeing some mature deer. Good morning, good morning. 5.37 right now, I gotta leave here in just a couple moments. But uh, we'll go check the camera. And the deer that we had in here during the rut is back. It's the tall brow deer, and he's a pig. But this who is on the mind. He's been on the mine, but in the back of the mine. Way he was there for a whole hour this morning. So. I don't know. Try to make a move on this deer. Hopefully it happens. Stay with me. So as we roll into the muzzleloader season, we start to transition to a different piece of property. This property is all hardwoods and it just seems to be producing the most photos for deer right now. We make a move, I'm heading in there with my bow, and we're looking for a big eight point. He's, he's heavy deer, we have the history with him. Ryan's got a lot of photos of this deer, and we're pretty sure we're in his core area. Ryan's got a setup in there, I head in with the bow, and that's where I have my first encounter.
I have this encounter with this nice deer. He comes in, he's a little bit spooky. Pretty sure the wind's good. I might I might be swearing a little bit and pull him down into that gut a little bit. But ultimately he comes in. I'm gonna call this deer pup pie. He's big, he's got a lot of body weight on him, and he's just he's got some nice massive, nice nice massive antlers on him. He's a beautiful buck. We're thinking he's a four or five year old. When he's on the shoot list, I do draw back on this deer. He ultimately just walks behind some brush and I can't shoot him. Back in my mind, I know this is a really nice deer, but I also know what we're getting on trail camera, and that's the deer I really do want. So I'm kind of happy I don't get the shot on this deer, but ultimately I'm like, will I get a shot on this other deer? Puppy walks out of my life, probably 140 inch deer, and I, ultimately I ended up drawing back on this deer. I just, I didn't get the shot that I wanted. He walked behind some some brush, and it just couldn't happen. But that same night, we see the big eight. He slips in on me, and he comes in off my backside. I can't really see him though, because I'm watching other deer. They're funneling out in front of me. So he slips in, I catch him out of the corner of my eye. And I get the video camera on him and he walks up the hill, but when the video stops it's because my camera died. The deer ultimately slips down the gut and he's out of my life too. I think he might have caught just enough wind because it was swirling a little bit. So in that time frame I thought of where we could move this tree stand and what we might be able to do. I talked to Ryan about it, come up with a game plan. We're moving about 60, 70 yards, 60 to 70 yards down the gut. We're going to hang a tree stand in there. Now we're going to get back in there and hunt this deer. Let me show y'all what we got going. We've been hunting this spot. We've been, we've been right down here. We've been hunting this spot. These bucks, they've been stopping on this hill right up here on this flat. That's what we're doing. We're moving the set right now. Okay? Ryan, it's helping us move the set. So hopefully we can cut these bucks off tonight, last night, and see if we can get it done. Next day of hunting, I wake up and I'm feeling awful. I'm, I'm coming down with the flu, I'm coming down with something, I'm, I'm getting sick. So I'm sitting up in this tree stand and I'm just not feeling well at all. As we start reaching that dusk moment, it's like, and all of a sudden, like my eyes just started picking up deer coming off the ridge. And in them deer, I seen the one, the one that mattered, the big eight. And he's slipping right down the ridge in between where we had the other stand. He's doing exactly what he does. He's trying to catch wind over there. And he slips down and he's, he's a bit spooky. He's going back and forth like this and he's he's not offering me a shot. He's right there, but he's, he's just not giving me that shot. So I'm watching him. I'm trying not to cough. I'm filming him. I'm holding my gun up at the same time. It's starting to strain on my arms. Finally, that deer steps into a hole and gives me just enough time and we make it happen. He's down right there. He's down, baby. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The ice is broken, baby. The ice is broken.
the ice is freaking broken, baby. I just put a shot on this this big Ohio eight point, and I see him go down in sight, and uh, the emotions are high. You know, I call Yo. Ryan up. Yo, he's down. Yeah, Kyle. Whew. Thank you, thank you. I had to give you a call and I'm here in the tree still. We broke the ice. Finally broke the ice. This is our third year hunting there and we got a big, big mature buck down. I'm not sure how well you guys can see me. But the UBO curse has just been broken. I just climbed out of my stand. Waiting for my dad to get here. See the four-wheeler coming now. But we have broke the curse. And we just put a big six-year-old buck down. UBO has a lot of history with this deer. My dad's had a history with this deer. We've, I've been in the tree with my dad when this deer slipped by him last year. And it's just bittersweet for this engine right here. And that feeling, I'm not gonna forget it. Just everything about that hunt from being sick to just happening and, and coming down to the moment is worth that three year wait and especially hunting with Ryan. I've got a lot of good memories hunting with Ryan. I've had a lot of fun over the years. Um yeah. Well, the buck only made it about twenty yards. But we got tons of blood right here. This gun absolutely tore him up. We're gonna go check this buck out right now. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, that's dirty. Look at this. Oh, what a mess. Oh, look at that big old stinky buck. Wow. Oh, look at the mass on that joker. Now that's how you end the 20, 21, 20, 22 season right there. Big old buck. And you know, ultimately we, we go back to Ryan because of the experience we get there. You know, it's not about shooting a deer. I don't shoot a deer there every year. It was three years before I finally shot my first one there. Woke up sick this morning, didn't even know if he's gonna make it out. I'm glad I got out here, man. Look at this little warrior buck. This is how we're such cute good intel on this deer. This hole right here on his ear. Just tore up. To tell him every year what year that was. He's had that hole for a couple of years now. But that moment, that was such a special moment. And I go back there and share that moment with Ryan and my dad there. That it was an incredible time. So this is our this is our first harvest with Ryan here at Urban Buckeye. Our third year. Uh, but you know Ryan always gives us such a great time and uh, we always come back and but now we got something to show for all these trips. And it's not because Ryan didn't have deer, it's just we... I passed up plenty of deer. I passed up deer that just didn't have the age yet. This is what we were looking for, big age deer. He's got tons and tons of history with this deer. He's got sheds from this deer. This is what we wanted, big six-year-old buck. Right there. Yep, and lots and lots of good times with Ubo, lots as I call times, him. Great times. And you know, this is the icing on the cake right here. That's it. As we wrap this video up, I want to talk a little bit why I think we got this deer killed. I think ultimately it came down to patience and just switching a few things up. And a key point is, you know, don't be afraid to move your stand 60, 70 yards. You know, you gotta, you gotta watch what the deer are doing. And, and ultimately, some of these deer are spooking you probably should make a quick change. So don't forget, you can make a quick change, go 60 yards this way, 60 yards that way, and it might be one of the best changes you did. That got us that deer killed. That was a big old deer, probably six year old, and we outsmarted them. They're smart, don't ever forget that. So if you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. I wanna see your guys' videos too. Drop a link to your YouTube videos. I wanna check some of those out. I really like that. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll have more flashback series coming up and hopefully some new kills coming up for this year.